Hi all, you spoke and I promised we were listening. Today I'm going to be showing you ways that you can use ChatGPT, the newest AI technology in your classroom. I'm not just talking about it, y'all, I'm showing you today. What you're gonna see is I'm gonna have some screen grabs popping up, showing you five different ways I'm using the technology in my classroom right now. If at any point in time you wanna pause me so you can really see what's going on in the bot, don't worry, it won't hurt my feelings. Also, make sure you check out our first video on this topic. This is where I share a little bit about what the technology is and some ideas for how you can use it in your classroom. Today we're gonna dig deeper and I'm gonna share some examples with you. I promise this technology has literally changed my planning process because it is so easy to use. Let's get started. First things first, this is what ChatGPT looks like when you open the technology. The way I access the site is through a program called OpenAI. You do need an account to access it, but it's super easy and free to sign up to use this amazing technology. So first things first, I'm gonna type in what I want the chat bot to do for me. Now it's designed to work like communication and conversation. So the more specific you can be in the question, the better your response. So the first prompt I typed in was about writing a letter to parents reminding them to make sure their students' iPads are charged. Just take a look at what it came up with for me. This next thing you can input is one of my favorites. I think it is one of the quickest ways to start using this in your classroom right now. You'll see I circled my question in red where I'm looking for a grade level specific reading passage and four questions they could answer after reading the passage. Did an awesome job writing that for me. The next thing you're gonna see is I ask for questions that students can then answer on a specific topic. I'm telling you, this technology is amazing. Take a look at what it generated. Don't forget, this technology can be used for more subjects than just reading. I also asked for some content connected to math, and you'll see I was able to go back and modify my question to the bot so that it would then change my answers to reflect what I asked for. I was looking for elapsed time, and I realized I wasn't specific enough in the amount of elapsed time. That edit made all the difference in the answers it gave me. The next way I'm using this in my classroom is one of my favorites. I am a list maker and apparently so is ChatGPT. Here you're gonna see I ask for a list of book suggestions and a list of real world connections connected to a math concept. Last but certainly not least, I ask for I can statements or those learning objectives. I love using this technology for that because sometimes it's so hard to dig into those standards and it's even harder to come up with ways to make them relatable for students. I gotta tell you, ChatGPT did an awesome job generating I can statements for a specific reading standard. I mean, is this the coolest technology or is this the coolest technology? I've had so much fun playing around with ChatGPT and I've already started using it in my classroom on a daily basis. 
Let me know down in the comments questions you have, things you're curious about, or have you found great ways to use this technology in your classroom? I'm here to answer, but I'm also here to learn more from you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching today. Make sure you're subscribed. We put out new videos every single week. And as always, we hope you have a not so wimpy day. Happy technology time. Bye.